What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Cora. This is the new 47 Ford Deluxe Sedan that I wanted to show you. My dad bought it and he is planning on taking it cross country eventually. But we're driving this beauty to work today so we will see you at the shop. does have ghost flames painted on it. This is why we're calling it blue flame. Definitely one of my favorite parts of the paint job. I love it. He was, he was just a few miles from the racetrack in Fort Worth. Oh really? Uh, he had another hot rod in the garage too. Now, part of the issue here, we think, the guy can't do nothing to it. How'd you find it? Well, you know, being a car guy, I shop those one ads all the time, people selling these cars and stuff. I was sitting and watched it for a week, week and a half. And I said, you know, and I got thinking about myself and everything. I ought to buy that car. I ought was to buy it that car. Auction or a, a no, it was a one ad. And I go, I, was, I went to work and I talked to Larry and, and Cora. I said, you know, I'm thinking about buying that car. Those are the wrong people to talk to. <laughs> or the right people, depending on how you look. Uh, and they go, you know, I ought to think about buying that car. And they went to lunch and they come back. And Larry goes, you know, I was thinking about that car. You ought to give them a call. I said, I bought it. And he goes, what? <laughs> already bought it. <laughs> Where in Texas? Fort Worth. Oh, that's close. He's just a few miles from the track. Racetrack, guy. Yeah, yeah. I bought it and I said, there he goes, are you crazy? You don't know what it's underneath that thing or anything like that? And I said, well, you know, I bought it. I can't pass up that price. He got down there and found out this has actually been a Trader Queen car. This is what it looked like before they had all the work done to it. And this car was actually made in Huntington Beach, California. So it is the real deal. But they gave us folder that shows some of the pictures from when it was being built and the whole frame like underneath and everything is painted too so this is just a really really awesome find and I'm just so happy for my dad because he's always put everybody else first he's always you know put his heart and soul into his business and I mean this is the first thing he's ever really done for himself so we're all really happy for him and it's going to be a great 
a great thing that he, him and my mom can enjoy whenever they're, you know, they can finally retire and everything like that. Just really proud of them. There's been a few people from work who've wanted to see it, so we're about to go cruise it around and show it off a little bit. You can donate this car to me. All right, I just got to drop it off. You wouldn't think it's too old. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> you keep thinking. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sit in it, Sandy. Just watch the chrome strip at the bottom, don't kick it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And they just cap wipers. Oh, wow, it's all the way around. Yeah. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but I'm going to put fuel injection on it. Oh, you're going to change out that car body? Yeah. It's got a big double pump. What are you going to use for fuel injection? What are you going to use? I got an Eldebrock. That's, That's an Eldebrock intake on it. This is the true fuel injection, is, you know, goes into each cylinder style. Yeah. But you can't do that here, right? You're just yeah, gonna shoot it into the man. No, I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> no, I rode in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. This horn seriously cracks me up. Listen to it. <laughs> Everybody comes out. What yeah. the hell was that? Credit to Aishin's Chicken. Sorry, Pop Pop. <laughs> 